Hello everyone, this is John from OptionsMeister.com and I wanted to do a short video today uh, because I am going to be rolling or adjusting my AMD inverted strangle. And we've done some several videos on this, but uh, I think it's always good to, to go over the, to my mindset, what I'm thinking, and uh, perhaps it'll work for you. I want you to remember there's really no wrong answer on how you adjust these, uh, but what I would uh, ask you or recommend that you do is be consistent all the time. So let's take a look. I've got the, um, if you look on the, I always do the positions tab, and I, I see what I've got that's got zero days to expiration, which obviously has to be adjusted today. Those are ones that uh, I didn't adjust or were not able to be adjusted by the uh, 21 days to expiration deadline. So what I've got is a $5 wide uh, AMD strangle, uh, inverted strangle, excuse me. Uh, and obviously the intrinsic value of that is $5. So what I will typically do is I'll have a order working sitting here at about, you know, say 520, 525, pick a number, it doesn't matter. Uh, and let me uh, send that over. Normally, I've got this sitting up here all the time. So I can keep my eye on it. And I see, okay, now that it's down to 536, it's almost all the extrinsic value is out of it, because this is going to cost $5 to close. Plus, normally, you're going to have to give a little bit unless you let the broker close it. The broker will close it for the uh, spread, which would be $5 plus an assignment fee. I think it's like five bucks or something a leg. Uh, so if you don't get it closed and the price is within, it stays in here, then that's fine anyway. But what here's what I like to do. Uh, oh, by the way, these wings are on here. I, I added real cheap wings just to save some buying power. So you can kind of ignore them in this illustration. So right now we're sitting with a 7782 inverted strangle. Let me take this off so we can. And like I said, most all the extrinsic value is gone. Normally, that doesn't occur till the last day or two before expiration. Uh, we are on Friday, May the 3rd, so this thing's expiring today. Uh, by the end of the day, this will be 5 bucks. But um, I will typically try to close those. Uh, if I'm going to close it for a profit, if I've collected more than $5, in this case, in premium, I'll close it for a profit, you know, 520 525 and just, just move on. I want to show you the... Um, where we are in the trade. Uh, you can see right here the AMD trade. Right now I'm sitting at a, a, almost $400 of net premium. That's the of commission. If you look at the detail uh, back here on 131, uh, you'll, this is uh, my detailed trade log, which of course I use all the time. So we're about $400. So if I close this today or let it be, I'm going to lose about 100 bucks on it. So I really, I'm I like to keep these things alive, get them to a break even or even a small profit. So most of the time I want to roll it out as short a period of time as I can for a credit. So let's start out by buying these two back. Let's look at the March 10th, which is the following week. And let's just throw the same, uh, same strat on. Uh, so I would pick up another $2. So if I got that $2 plus the four, I've got that $6. If, if AMD stayed within here next week, um, it would close for around $5. Uh, and I would make about a hundred dollar profit. So that's obviously option number one. Uh, in my case, what I like to do, rather than take the extra premium, I prefer to tighten the inversion because uh, you, you never really get these right, and you may be rolling it time and time again. And obviously, the closer the inver, the tighter the inversion, the less it costs to close. So. If I go out a week, I'll start playing around. I might, you know, depending on whether I have a skew uh, or a feeling or a bias one way or the other, uh, what I'll do with either one of the st strikes. Uh, but in this case, I'll probably just come down and, and just start kind of playing around, and I'll say, "Oh, okay, now I can do, I can do this roll seventy nine eighty one. The price is right in the middle for seventeen cents. And if you take that seven. That's negligible, but if you take that 17, I've got, I've got about $4. If this thing stays between 79 and 81 uh, for a week uh, and expires next week, I mean, that's going to be, a, we're going to buy it back for 2 bucks, 225 We're going to make, a, uh, you know, two basically $2 on it. Uh, there, again, there, there's no wrong answer. You may like to stay wide and collect more premium. You've got a better chance the wider you are uh, of it falling in there, obviously, but I I don't think you get paid for taking on the extra risk. So if we start here at at 70, and this is just the nature of options. Normally, you're going to you know go down 
uh, up or down one strike. And you can see here, if we go from 209 to 139. So we're, we're, taking, a, uh, we're taking a dollar less risk uh, and we're, we're getting paid 70 cents for it. So you never really get paid for the risk. Uh, and I, I show that some in some of the other videos. And uh, when you roll out, you just, you're always going to get about 50% of the, of the width of the risk you're taking. So in this case, what this is what I'll do. I'll, I'm pretty sure that's a, probably what I'll do. But let's look at, if you, you know, if you say you don't want to mess with it, you're going to be out of town next week or variety of reasons you might want to go out another week and i think you can go out another week and just put on a straight strangle you know you can, yeah you can collect 26 cents you know you you might you know by the grace of god this thing might uh close in between there and you know you've got about a four dollar winner on your hands uh probably won't you'll probably end up one of the sides will be tested you'll roll the untested side go back to an inverted strangle but nonetheless that's an option and i i've even had um clients that you know go out to the next regular expiration and just really widen this thing, you know? Uh, and again, there, that's 31 cent debit. You may want to pay 31 bucks to be that wide. Uh, you're at the 32 and 27 Delta, or you know, if you don't think it's going to go up higher, you might do something like that. Um, and that's, that's another option. Again, there's no wrong answer on this. I personally, I'm pretty consistent uh, and I'm obviously able to spend the time and uh, on a weekly basis, look at these things, but I will, I will go out as short a period of time as I can because my goal in this, this was an earnings trade that kind of went wild and I want to get out of this uh, hopefully for a profit as soon as possible. So I'll come out here, I'll start at the 82 and I'll start tightening these things. I'm, you know, I'm, I may think this thing is going to go way up. If I think it's going to go way up, I may want to do something like that. Just have this call just barely out of the money and adjust this to wherever I can get a credit you know, I got the same two dollar credit, um, and uh, you know, if it if it goes up, you know, this eighty is going to be obviously going to be in the money a little bit. So um, right now, I'm I, I really don't want to leave this seventy seven short call. I don't want to be that deep in the money on the call. So uh, what I'll do is, you know, I'll, I'll like I said, I'll adjust these back and forth, and I'll kind of look at them and. I just want to do a credit. I, you know, I if if I get an 18 cent credit, or we looked at this other one, a 17 cent credit, and I, you know, I guess I got about four dollars. If this thing stays in here next week, I close this thing for for two bucks. Um, that's a nice two dollar profit. And then again, if if either of your sides gets breached, you're going to be looking to roll it out another week. Some people like to roll it out further. I like to go week by week by week if I can. Uh, as long as I don't have to increase the width of the inversion um, and I can collect a credit. So that, this obviously falls into that. Sometimes you, when you're in these trades and most of the IV has gone, you might have to go out two weeks to get a credit. Uh, I never uh, want to increase the width of the inversion because if I go from, say, a $5 wide to a $6 wide, I'm only going to collect about 50 cents so i'm taking on another dollar in risk and only getting paid 50 cents for it so that's the why uh my mindset but i do the same thing every time and i would encourage you to be uh consistent doing this every time pretty much the same way so i hope that helps it's uh, a little quick video to give you an idea uh, and i'll be doing more of these as uh, you know, as uh, they come along and they do come along so uh, good luck and great trading